Um, another way, and again, you might need to try this if you don't get a response in that one position, is just a letter arm hang here, support the elbow area. And again, I'm going to tap at the triceps tendon just proximal to the olecranon here and look for arm extension again. And look for symmetry on the other side. And you might tell the patient, let everything go loose. Let me hold your arm all by myself. So a lot of them are tensing up. It's going to be hard to elicit the reflexes. Okay. The next reflex was the uh, brachioradialis or radial reflex. And I'm going to tap right here over the distal head of the radius bone, okay? And uh, we could either just tap this area or I can put my thumb there and look for, again, arm flexion at the elbow. And similarly over here. And note that they're symmetrical. Moving on down, we're going to look at the lower limbs and the patella or knee reflex. And again, test them just to let everything go loose. And we're going to tap below the patella right here and look for knee extension. Same thing on this side. And now in the seated position, it's a little more difficult to maneuver to get the ankle reflex, but in healthy patients, it often is fairly simple. And I'm going to exert, I'm going to rotate the foot out a little bit and pull up a little on the sole and tap on the Achilles tendon just above the heel back here and look for plantar flexion. And there's a beautiful response there. And similarly, I'm going to do it on this side. And again, a nice plantar flexion response. And there's symmetry here. The muscle stretch reflexes can be graded from 0 to 4. And you could record this uh, as you're examining the patient. Uh, the grade of 0 means there is no reflex response despite any type of reinforcement maneuver. It's no response at all. The grade of 1 means that you get the reflex only if there's a reinforcement maneuver. So for example, if with the knee reflex, I'm tapping here and getting no response at all, I could ask the patient to do the classic Gendrasic maneuver. And if you'll just curl your fingers, pull them together like this, and gently pull your fingers against one another. And then I could tap again here and bring out the reflex. That would be a one. Okay, you can relax. And without this maneuver, I couldn't get it. Now, normally, uh, reflexes are two or three, or two plus or three plus. Three plus being somewhat uh, brisker, but still in the normal range. And four, the top of the scale, uh, indicates clonus. In clonus, we can demonstrate most easily with the ankle reflex. Okay, And you could see it, if you look down here, this is not the optimal position, but if I just push up and dorsiflex the foot at the ankle, I will elicit plantar flexion that will just keep on going as long as I'm passively pushing up like that. And it's an oscillating type of uh, response. The plantar flexion keeps going. That would be 4 plus ankle clonus. The next thing we're going to do is uh, check for sensation. And there's a few modalities we're going to check. Um, again, I have my, uh, my broken cotton st uh, stick applicator here that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use the wisp of cotton to test uh, light touch and the uh, broken sharp end of the uh, wood stick to test for, uh, for pin or, or pain sensation. But it won't be that painful.